my Gemini. It's time for your reading. Time for your reading for May 10th through the 17th. I'm Michelle B. And I'm going, I am currently pulling some messages. Already cards have been falling out. Um, general messages, just what you need to know for your week ahead. I'm not asking specific questions of the, of the deck at this moment. However, if something specific very clearly comes up that the cards want me to say to certain Gemini that need to know, I will say them. Okay. And say, I will, but I will definitely point out this is only for those Gemini who need to know. It's not necessarily for you. Anyway, messages, messages, messages. Also, I wanted to say if you're finding these, these messages at any time of besides May 10th through 17th, 2021, that's okay because they were meant for you to get them then. I just keep them on YouTube. If people stumble into them and they resonate with them, just take them. Okay? So, here we go, weekly re weekly messages, let's do this. So what I got here is I got the page, <laughs> page of wands, I got the seven of swords, and I got the emperor, but he wanted to come out in the reverse. So let's see what kind of story we can create here out of these cards. Like what are the overall messages? There's like, there's like the seven of swords guy, he's like facing, he's facing the, page of wands and it's just like okay so i did this i'm sorry right somebody somebody comes coming at you and being like i'm sorry i screwed up right or it could be you that's being like i i need to apologize is there something that you need to apologize for hmm 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 but somebody doesn't want to take your apology okay i was like ooh, there's general messages what you need to know if there's somebody that doesn't want to take your apology, they want to hold on to their resentment, they want to be they want to be angry. It could be you that's holding on to resentment and wanting to be angry. Yeah, we got the four of cups. It's also here. It's like I guess I don't deserve it. Um You can't make someone want to be cool with you. They're hurting themselves essentially, and that's hard to see. That's hard to watch when somebody's when somebody wants to hurt themselves over something that they think that you did. It's like I want to go close my window because there's construction happening happening outside, and the engine turned on right before I hit play or hit record on the camera. So it is a little bit distracting to me. But maybe now that I've said it, it's going to be less of an issue because I don't want to turn off the camera and have to start all over. I want to keep going with this reading. But essentially, I, I feel like there's just like this grumpy kins. Both of these cards are symbolic of Aries energy. If there, if there's an Aries in your, in your life right now, that's kind of mm, being crank, cranky toward you. But yeah, I definitely see this guy's like bowing his head and he's like making an offering. He's bowing his head and making an offering to these these other people and being like, I really would like to apologize. I'd like to give back what I what I took. I'd like to make amends in some way. And the other person's like, nah. so anyway, if, if you're the person that's apologizing and they won't accept your apology, know that you can forgive yourself. You can, um, and it's not easy, it's not fun, but you can go through and, and you know, do a blessing, a self-forgiveness blessing. Let's go ahead and do it right now. Self-forgiveness blessing, okay? For Gemini, I forgive myself. I'm so sorry for what I did. I should not have done that, but from now on, I'm going to do better. Mm. I feel that in my heart. I definitely feel that in my heart. So shake it off, let it go. Say, I love myself anyway. I made a mistake but I love myself anyway. I forgive myself, okay, I forgive myself. I apologized, I did what I could, and now I forgive myself. I love myself, I love them, I love them. I'm so sorry and I love you. I'm so sorry and I love you. And then let it go. Deep, uh, deep, deep inhale into your belly. Shake it off. Now, are you on the other side of the are you on the other side of the spectrum where you're the person that needs to be doing the the forgiving? 
someone's trying to come to you um, very shameful very apologetic about something that they did and perhaps you don't believe them that they're really that they're really apologizing maybe you just just want to be mad right now you have a right to do that you have a right to not forgive someone if you don't want to you have a right to not have them in your life you don't have a right to abuse them and I don't I don't get that I'm not sensing abuse of any kind in this in this setup I'm sensing just like okay I'm angry I'm hurt I'm not ready to let it go yet that's just it that's that's all there is to it and you have a right to take the rest of your life to, to, to let them back in okay you don't have to ever you don't ever have to let them back into your life again and that's a good feeling <laughs> that's a good feeling to be like yeah like I don't want to and there have been plenty of people in my life believe me <laughs> Gemini believe me there have been plenty of people in my life that I was like I'm not gonna abuse you over this I'm not gonna dwell on it anymore but being around you bad news you don't make good choices I'm going to just do me over here and like you know you do you I'm not gonna be mean just go do you okay you get to do that all right so forgive yourself for trusting okay it, like we're not saying anybody's a bad guy we're just saying forgive yourself for letting yourself down by trusting them all right because that's something that I had to deal with I trusted people that were not that did not use my trust in the best way possible and so I had to forgive myself for trusting them for, forgive myself it's like forgiving like my ego is like ow that hurts and that's really what it is um, so the Sedona method I was learning about it and that's all about forgiveness um, it's about saying to yourself if I was the universe and I had all the power in the world right now if I could do anything I wanted at any time is this something that would be a big deal probably not probably not okay it doesn't mean you have to let it it doesn't mean you have to allow it to happen to you again just let it go okay just let it go do your own thing go do you and that's what I've said saying this so this this person is like I'm sorry and this person's like I'm just gonna do me okay I'm not even looking at you I'm just gonna do me okay it's all right both of you are gonna be okay just let it go both of you now we get the four of cups that wanted to come out and just real briefly I'm going to talk about that um, what I want to say is like it's you see it's a the the divine the universe is offering a is offering a cup it's offering something a special gift and my Instagram I wrote a little bit about this card um, I'm gonna do a little discussion about it about um, it's like your it's like it's your, your glass ceiling on what you think you deserve right um, it's okay I'll just sit here and I've just got my three cups and that's all I'll ever have and I don't really like the three cups but whatever I'll just deal with it meanwhile while you're just like feeling sorry for yourself about this you're being offered something you're being offered a special gift what I want you to do this week Gemini is give yourself the opportunity to acquire something new and it, I, with it being cups I feel like this is something when it comes to the expression of affection the expression of love someone offering support in some way that's it could be in the form of money but more than and more than anything it's the expression of love so those of you who are looking for intimate connections um, I feel like it's somewhere that you're not paying attention there is love all around you being offered it all the time and what what I would do to in order to be able to pay attention to that is I would make an effort to journal every day about every little act of kindness that comes your way and what that is going to what that's doing because what you what you um, what you track will increase 
you're tracking expressions of gratitude, expressions of affection, expressions oh, it stopped. <laughs> anyway, expression expressions of caring. Um, gifts that are like it could be like physical monetary gifts or you know like tangible gifts but just like the gift of opening a door for you you know stuff like that i would write every one of those down okay i would write every little thing there is to be grateful for as far as gifts coming in that you're not paying attention to and what that happens, what happens when you're paying attention to little acts of kindness is it opens you up for receiving abundance in monetary ways, in physical resource ways as well. When you're paying attention to expressions of affection and caring. Okay. All right. So this is where I'm going to leave off on that. But I do want to do a quick blessing to you, Gemini, for this week. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Sending you some Reiki love. Ready? Coming up from my root, up into my abdomen, rising up through my solar plexus and into my heart. Oh, there's some heart healing that needs to be, heart healing needs to happen. Mm, in Gemini, heart healing, moving up into the throat, okay. There's some things that need to be expressed, okay? Some words that need to come out in a in a in in a loving manner, okay? Make sure it's loving and respectful and respectable when you're doing your communications and taking in beautiful things, making sure and seeing beautiful things, okay? And then hmm, the spirit coming in going out and coming in, flowing in and out, okay? Thank you, Gemini, for being here with me today. It is going to be a good week, okay? It's a week of letting things go and just being okay with yourself. You are good enough. You are safe. You're just fine the way you are. I'll see you later.